I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I, the, the way I perceive technology is A, in terms of how it is going to change, uh, change the automobile industry and of course technology in terms of trading. Yeah. So let's, let's start with, uh, with the former first. We call these speculators paper traders, but they're, they're not really paper traders at all. They haven't been paper traders for a long time. Markets are digitized. Uh, the oil market never sleeps. It is on 24-7, 365 days a year. And a lot of these, a lot of the speculation that you see in the market would not happen uh, if, uh, if the market was not uh, as digitized as it is at the moment. And of course, the digital world has created various opportunities, spread betting being one of those, uh, binary bets being one of those. And so trading, electronic trading and digitization technology, it has been an enabler. It definitely has been an enabler, but it has not been an enabler without uh, minus downsides. So there are, there are a few downsides. Now that's the tech bit of the trading desk. If you look at the technology bit of the electric car, is it a threat to the automobile industry? Uh, not immediately, because at the end of the day, you have to hook that car onto the power grid. And from that power grid, you're charging your, your lithium iron battery for, for your Tesla or whatever it is, Nissan. None of them have paid me money to mention this, but you know, there are only few players in the electric uh, cars market. It is taking off, it's in its infancy. But I've said this time and time again, why are we looking at demand? Why, why do we look towards Asia when it comes to demand? Because Asian sort of drivers are now feeling the power of acceleration. The good old internal combustion engine, uh, which has made considerable progress, it's ultra fuel efficient, but they are now experiencing the joys of it in meaningful volumes. Buying a car is an aspiration in India, in, in China. So all of a sudden you turn up and say, well, you know, we, we, will, change, we will change your way of life, your approach, approach to things, and uh, we want you to suddenly go electric in a country where there are, there are power failures, often, uh, it, the, in various parts of, uh, parts of the country. And the way I see it is, is that the electric revolution will slowly start as it, uh, as it has in, in California permeate the, the sort of wider world and uh, we'll see more and more of it uh, in Europe. The only problem is in various US jurisdictions, uh, let me start again. The only problem is the various EU jurisdictions, including the UK, there are tax incentives for owning an electric vehicle. Uh, the US might be leading the way in terms of technology, but there is no sort of tax incentive uh, in US or Canada. Now, if you look at the UK, in London, for instance, if you have an electric car, you don't pay the congestion charge. Uh, I can't see a similar sort of benefit or tax advantage given to US or Canadian motorists. So even in developed markets, there are challenges for electric vehicles. But yes, they will, they will eventually take off. They will eventually, as a domino effect, reduce uh, the demand for oil. But in the, in the here and the now, the more immediate uh, future that we see, the, the diesel and petrol engines are going to get more and more fuel efficient. Uh, by some measure, if you take a comparable Ford for Ford, a comparable Nissan for a Nissan, the same uh, make as it has progressed consumes uh, at least 25% less than it did 10 years ago. It's variant 10 years ago.